so John Wick Chapter 2, I just recently saw it um, in theaters, and uh, man, did I love this movie. But I'm going go to go into a little bit more as to why later. Um, this movie is directed by Chad Stahelski. Um, David Leach is not attached to this one. If you have uh, seen the first one, they co-directed in the first one. Chapter 2 is just all Chad Stahelski. So... John Wick Chapter 2 is pretty much Keanu Reeves getting back into the role of John Wick. And John Wick is, again, trying to stay retired. But um, this film, in particular, starts off right where the first film left off. You get uh, John Wick as soon as he was um, uh, pretty much uh, done with his journey in the first film. It goes right into the second film. And there's no turning back afterwards. It's just non-stop full throttle thrill action i think that's that's the biggest thing that i sort of enjoyed about this film is how like fast paced it was but you know it wasn't sort of overwhelming it didn't it didn't beat you over the head with it it, it had sort of like a balance to it it had the action sequences and then it had character moments and then it had like comedy which they injected a little bit more in this one more than so than the first so overall i just I think that, that that sort of unity of the film sort of carried through and it made it so enjoyable and so much more worth watching and the action just, it just paid off way, way, way more because of it. I think the the biggest thing about the film though is the, is the character like development and the world building because like that was the one thing about the first film that sort of like got my attention a little bit more to the edge that like it sort of like pushed push my attention more to the edge of of the film because of the world that it, John Wick was in and and to be able to see them now like explore that in this film was just incredible and I remember hearing that the director say he wanted to do this and, he wa and he's just in that he was grateful that um, they were able to just make a second film and you know he was just having fun and exploring the world of John Wick and you get to see that clearly in this film because it's it's just it's just a pure non-stop action fun ride man it's it's crazy how much i enjoyed this film i feel like it was a huge upgrade from the first one if you like if you like the action sequences of the first john wick you're gonna love the action sequences in this one if you loved the the store sort of like the the main story points that they laid out in the first one you're going to enjoy this one far more i think the two the just the the glaring things that sort of bothered me with that within the film wasn't necessarily story points as much as it was certain characters now there was a, a chick that had um short hair I, f I forgot her name i think she was uh rudy rose i think the actress that's the actress's name i i might be wrong and common those are the two that stand out to me right off the bat um i'm not calling them out or anything but i mean uh for my personal experience when I was watching it, um, Common, there was some sort of, like, some of the lines that he was say, saying didn't come off to, you know, he, it didn't seem like he, he sort of, um, his character just didn't seem very, I'd say, unique. It's, you know, they both seemed like they were fitting the mold of the, you know, natural villain sort of character. Um, it, we'll comment a little bit more a little bit less so than the girl the girl was a little bit more extreme to the point where she just became a character um common was uh, was he was sort of very very readable but he was also an enjoyable character so even though he did sort of like distract me he wasn't too unbearable that i couldn't watch the film when i was like at, thinking about the film a little bit more and i was trying to think of the negatives of what what i could say that that maybe this film doesn't do well and um i was gonna go straight towards the the story but to be completely honest with you i felt like i had no issues with the story i know that the i know that the, some people may have problems with the way that they set up of the, uh, their, the main villain, how maybe he, he didn't play his role too well, but I felt as though everything ne happened the way it needed to happen. And, you know, whenever things did happen, there was a full explanation for it, and things didn't just, like, miraculously happen. They happened for a reason. And it may just made everything more fluid, and it made you go with John Wick even more easily so than if you would, like, just some random you know random shots 
so the film definitely did have structure definitely did have um, style and that, i think that's the another thing i want to talk about is the tone and the color palette of this one compared to the first one because this one is so much more colorful in the way that they've they um sort of like figured out a way to like uh you know illustrate the different settings that john wick went to like john wick in this film gets to go to rome we don't see him just stay in in new york in the u.s he gets to go to rome and it's it's such it makes for such some some great 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 character scenes and action scenes i mean there's a scene with him when with uh, another main character who is in the fold who's like in the cross crossfire and they have just a, a moment and it could have been so easily cheesy corny but it worked for me like it didn't it didn't feel corny it didn't feel like it was forced it felt like na it was natural it just flowed it flowed together really well another thing another thing that i really want to talk about that i didn't get to talk about in the about the first film that they carry through in the second film was the the music the music was a big part of creating the the, the myth of john wick because it's the background to to the action you know you don't want to have like a, some some just random rock and rock or whatever or like just you know what i mean you know what i mean like just random or hip-hop or whatever random music the, the music fit in beautifully and it it and it uh conveyed what the what the cer what the certain scene that it was in needed to convey and that's what sort of worked for me a little bit more um was the music and the way they incorporated that what was also awesome man was seeing lawrence fishborn come back and uh if you if you're a fan of the old matrix there they are man there they are back again so keanu reeves meets lawrence fishburne and lawrence fishburne's character is sort of this underground sort of kingpin if you will that like oversees everything and gets and uh has and john wick goes to him for some some needed needed guidance <laughs> it's a do overall john wick chapter 2 is a dope film it's such an upgrade from the first one and it does things so so well and so beautifully i honestly it's gonna be a bold statement but i honestly feel like john wick chapter 2 is the action film for our generation i just feel like what it does is so unprecedented unprecedented uh, blah, 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 blah. it's so unprecedented uh, it's so unmatched <laughs> that's a better word uh, it just feels so so gritty so real and even though it's in this very fantastic world and there's just so much style to it there's so much so much uniqueness within within it and it was just such a huge upgrade from the first one that it could have just it could have easily just been like a like a like the first film just done a, like again with a different different um you know tune but it was it it just added it didn't just copy it added to what was already presented and that was what i loved so much about this film it didn't feel like i have seen i had seen it already and i had honestly watching it i had no idea what was going to happen next and those are the best movies to watch so if i were to rate this film i'm going to actually go really high if you <laughs> if you you shouldn't be surprised hearing hearing how enthusiastic enthusiastic I am about this film, but I'm gonna go high with the rating on this one. I'm probably gonna give it on a close to a hundred, but not a hundred. Probably like ninety five percent. I give it ninety five percent out of a hundred percent. It was just such an enjoyable movie. It's other than some character moments here and there, I just. I just felt like everything flowed and it was just just so enticing just so fun to watch and just a blast 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 because man it's it's been a long time since i felt like that for an action for an action film in a long time since watching those old you know 80s 80s 90s action films you know john wick chapter 2 man it just it just does it captures something that i don't think a lot of action movies have captured and that's its own style it has its own voice and it it conveys it beautifully so there you go john wick chapter 2 that was my full review what i thought about it do you guys agree with it if you don't be sure to comment below let me know um and if you like this video if you like like hearing me talk then be sure to like this like like the video on youtube click that thumbs up it helps a lot um 
and also it also helps that you guys subscribe so be sure to subscribe to this channel be sure to let share this video with all your friends that would be awesome and also be sure to support the show on patreon i am on patreon i'll put a link in the description of this video um basically what that is is you can like go to patreon and support the channel um fun how it's a it's a self-funding fan funding um you know uh, it's a fan funding website that you can that you can be a part of and create and create just a bigger fandom for this for Revo TV. That's pretty much what I wanted what I wanted to do with it um, while sort of building up the channel. So be sure to do that. Support me there, and uh, yeah, lot, can't wait to do more movie reviews. And uh, so just be sh if be if just if you have not watched John Wick chapter two and you know it's in theaters right now i'm just gonna end like this you better watch that in theaters